Hey everyone, Codethan4 here. With Call of Duty being known for its custom mods, there are still a lot of maps being put out even to this day. I wanted to start a new series where I share with you some of these mods that I think you should give a try. These are in no particular order, and of course, all the links to download these maps will be down in the description of the video. While you're down there, feel free to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. With that being said, let's jump into the first one. The first map on our list is Quiet Cosmos. With an abandoned city excavated in a mountainside, this map brings a lot of features to the table. Along with a full-on easter egg, this vibrant map has plenty of weapons from games like BO4, Cold War, MW2019, and more. There are plenty of perks, specialty zombies, and custom features found in the map. And having played this map on stream, I can say that we absolutely loved it and couldn't recommend it more. Our next map is a guaranteed favor for The Walking Dead fans. The Sanctuary is a map based off of The Sanctuary in Season 5 of The Walking Dead. With many, many easter eggs found within this map, there is plenty to explore, and although I haven't completed the easter egg personally, rumor has that there's an interesting appearance if you complete it. The third mod on this list brings our favorite Nocturne Toten and gives it a new coat of paint. The Nocturne Toten revamped mod changes the whole experience of the map with changes in HUD, weapons, textures, and much, much more. Simply put, if World War II Zombies and Nocturne Toten had a baby, this is what it would be. And being someone who actually likes World War II Zombies, this mod was a lot of fun for me to play. Fourth on the list is another mod that I played on stream, Dark Harvest. For those of you that like doing easter eggs but don't like spending forever looking for the next step, this is the perfect map for you. Being set at a desolate farmhouse, this map has a fun, full easter egg with step-by-step -step guide and plenty of cutscenes to go along with it. Fully voiced NPCs and plenty of custom material will have you playing this map over and over again. And finally, the last map is my personal favorite, Eingispert. Locked in an abandoned mansion, your job is to complete multiple challenges around the map and find a way to unlock the viable ending. I love this map because it visually looks amazing, the sounds and textures are great, the challenges I mentioned are fun but difficult enough to make you try. Simple things like no perk limit and ambient sounds really add to the atmosphere of the map too. And with that, those have been my top 5 zombie mods that I highly suggest you try out. These will all be in the description for you guys to go check out. Again, feel free to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe so you don't miss any more Call of Duty zombie content.